I've actually made the goof. Hey guys, it's Anna Biden. Welcome back! Satisfactory! Satisfaction! <laughs> okay, never doing that thing again, that's for sure. So, ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the long break. Uh, last time we started to do the module factory, uh, module frame actually. Uh, so, we started with the first part, that was the first stage, as remembered from the previous episode. We've managed to prepare the first part of uh, furnaces making the iron plates that will be necessary to make ourselves reinforce iron. Uh, so this is like the very first stage. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how many stages there will be, because apparently it turned out that I overestimated my, uh, <laughs> my, my knowledge of the game and I basically need to fix things on the fly, so sorry about that. So today, we need to assemble the second part of the factory, which is that we need to have iron rods. Now, the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, for this thing to actually have 10 modular frame per minute production thingy, you need to have the uh, the extractors level 2. I, at the moment, I'm going on extractor level 1, the miners one, right? You need to have the miner mark 2. We get this thing by upgrading the space elevator, of course. Uh, so just keep this thing in mind. You can of course set it up with this side of setup and just upgrade the miners later on. Just keep in mind that with level 1 you won't exactly have uh, 10 module frame per minute. You're gonna have less obviously because you won't be able to mine that many iron uh, to supply your factory with the necessary resources. Now, okay, we got that thing out of the order. We do, okay? Let me mark this thing on my piece of paper. Okay. So I have no idea how I'm gonna do this thing. Uh, let me see. Okay, so I need to now have to change some things around here because we need to have six assemblers, all right, at the very end of this thing. Six assemblers. I need to have small uh, four smelters here. Okay, so one iron mine should be able to supply four smelters. And then we need to have additional two smelters. Well, shit, that's gonna be a lot. Okay, okay, let's get into planning. Okay, so I'm planning this thing around, and uh, according to the draft I have made over here on the piece of paper I have in front of me, this is how it goes. I need to have four smelters that will make me iron ignorance. Then four of those smelters will supply eight constructors. Uh, okay, and then I need to have additional two smelters that will make me just the iron rods that are necessary for to finish the construction of the thing, right? So, in total we need to have six smelters. So I'm thinking that we're gonna place three. Three on the first floor, three on the second floor. And then, because we have in total eight constructors that are making iron plates. Okay, eight. And then they need to go into six assemblers. So we're gonna have three and three on the on both floors. Right? Right. And then we have to... And then we need to have another two... Actually, another three assemblers at the very edge of the line to finish the construction of the modular frames. So probably won't do, uh, that thing won't happen today, but more or less we know what we need to do. Okay, so let's assume this is gonna be a wall over here. Is that actually a good idea? If I'm gonna... Hold on a second. If I'm gonna make one thing... Hey, what? Okay, that I wanted to trigger. Okay, I could try to make those things here. Or, we could actually try to make... Where's that thing? Uh, this thing. Okay, can I add this thing to number 5? Or I could try to place those things. Right, so technically this thing could house... Uh, more than one conveyor belt. If I'm gonna do this thing right. Because we have to then... Two will come from here, and then two additional will come from here, so I can actually stack them together. Yeah, that that could be the thing. Or I could try to do two like this, and then one conveyor belt will go on that thing, and then another belt would have to go below. Can I send a conveyor belt through this thing? Well, technically I can, I believe. So we have to check would this thing actually like work this way. Okay, wait, hold on, I can actually do this thing. Uh, let's assume the conveyor belt will go through this. Something like this. Okay, put something, whatever, inside. Like three of those plates. Come on. There you go. 
Okay, flip plates are going out. So let's see what this thing actually go underneath this thing. Because we need to have in total four belts, right? So that's why I need to like mix this thing together. Yeah, they can go underneath this thing with no problem. That should work. I won't lie to you. This at the moment is just like constructing, deconstructing, constructing again, deconstructing again, just to fill everything nicely and smoothly so that, you know, this thing actually will look like a functioning uh, factory. So yeah, like I'm gonna probably cut out most of this thing because this is just me, learn and error, stuff like that. But so yesterday we are getting there. I needed to calculate the amount of iron that I'm gonna need. And I think I found like the perfect amount. Well, perfect. It's like a it's like a strong word, perfect, but it should be good. The ratio should be good. Let's put it this way. So I have four constructors downstairs and I have four constructors upstairs. Okay. I have two smelters here, two smelters here, along with some splitters. Now you're probably like wondering where the hell is this thing going? That's actually uh, the thing. Because I need to have in total 12 constructors that will be doing iron rods okay keeping up with me yeah it's actually gonna be some math over here <laughs> but you look at that you can't speak english and you want to do math yeah i want to shut up so this is how it goes uh the two iron mines that i have over here will have to supply all of this thing uh, i mean this part of the production line so one iron mine over there will dig out iron obviously uh the iron will go into the splitter okay now, one conveyor belt is gonna take the iron to that smelter over there. The other one is gonna take the iron to this one. Okay, keep you up with me. Uh, then the iron made by those two will get split into those four constructors. So two constructors per smelter. All right, I have to connect that thing. I know. So those constructors will make iron rods. This is exactly exactly the mirrored thingy from downstairs, right? So this is exactly the same thing. Uh, I just have to connect somehow. I have to build like a iron mine over here and then make conveyor belts up here to connect to this thing. So we're gonna have uh, eight constructors that will be doing iron rods. After that, I need to have additional four constructors that will be do that will do screws. Okay, and this is the harder part because uh, yeah, this is the harder part. <laughs> God damn it. I will have to divide assemblers. I need to have six assemblers. So that means we have to have three assemblers per floor. If I understand this thing correctly. And then, like this conveyor belt that also will go like over here. Those conveyor belts will go to additional smelter that will be like located further down the factory. Uh, and at the end of that thing, there's going to be... Two additional smelters and four constructors of iron rods okay so all of that thing will then come together to produce the modular flames Fra flames yeah modular flames hey actually that'd be the I think frames module frames sorry for the accent but you get the idea yeah I still have to construct a bunch of things but I mean we are getting there right slowly and steady but we are getting there uh, okay so now I need to think how I'm gonna connect this thing exactly so Ah, shit, this, this thing over here. Uh, do I have space? I have a little bit of space. Okay, grab everything. Beautiful. Okay, so. Hmm. Yeah. Think. I'm gonna do this thing. Alrighty, so. I need to construct this thing somewhere here, I guess. Yeah, something like this. So this thing goes here. And then we have to construct additional one around, right? Because the miner over here is gonna grab iron. And we need to deliver the iron from here upstairs. Okay, this is not exactly aligned. I want to make this thing align at least a little tiny bit. Come on. There we go. Okay. So that one's aligned. This one's not aligned yet. So let's fix this issue. And you're gonna go over here. Beautiful. Okay, looks a little bit weird, but I had to like make some space for the factory, okay? So that's why this is gonna be a little bit more in the corner. So you go from here, you go around, make like a turn, 90 degrees, please. Here. Okay, and then you have to go underneath that thing. So go further away. 
do tutaj a bit. Okay, I don't think I can actually increase the size of this thing, can I? Hold on a second, if I'm gonna... Uh, a bit too big. I need to have it that big. But okay, whatever. So this thing could go connect to this. Go from here and then you go richly through this. More or less like this. Beautiful. Okay, looks super clean. So that this is the first part, okay? Now this thing, we have to somehow go upstairs. And I need to have... Uh, a conveyor wall over there. Okay, so somehow from this thing, we need to connect over there. Obviously, I cannot do this thing. Physics. Ha! <laughs> you suck. So... Uh, okay, hold on a second. Can I make like a, like a, like a, the thing I did previous time? Well, I can try, I guess. So, one will go over here. Okay. And then, I'm gonna try to do one more over here. Okay, we just have to align this thing. So, you're gonna go here. Okay. Now, you go here. Okay, can I connect those two things? I can! Okay, that works. So those things goes there. Then you go one up. And you go from this one over here. To go up to this one. Not not like this. Ah, seriously? Not like this, what the hell? Game! Seriously? Come on! Oh, come on! Okay, I believe a spaghetti like this should actually be <laughs> good. It took me a while to build this thing, but okay, you get the idea, I hope. Uh, and if you have like a problem to make like a turn like this, just make like a support. Uh, how do you call this thing? Conveyor pole stackable, whatever this thing is. Just try to make like a supportive one over here, so that the actual turn we have to, uh, we have the possibility to stand over something, right? So this is how we make the turn. So basically. Uh, this mine goes downstairs, this mine goes upstairs. Okay, I have to like actually go inside the fuck- No! <laughs> okay, that's close. Right, let me- Allow me to- I, I, Ah, shit, I got stuck. No! No, 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 this ain't good. This ain't good, okay. Uh, okay, by mistake I probably like wrecked my thing. Uh, can I fix this? Come on, come on. Oh, thank god. Whew, for a second I thought I actually demolished my factory. Beyond repairing. <laughs> okay, so we get back on the on the floor. Uh, do I have to do anything else over here? Oh yeah, now I have to make additional constructors and make myself the bloody ass iron rods. Okay, that should be easy to do actually. We just have to extend the flooring a little tiny bit. The next part actually is gonna be more difficult because I have to make the assemblers, and that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Because, let's be honest over here, we've used the assemblers uh, Like back in the, like in the beta version And those things require tons of space So yeah Can't wait for that thing to happen But still, for now, we are focusing on this thing So, uh, okay Make one over here, directly Make another one over here, direct wait, is this actually good? Four, four yeah, it should be okay. It should actually be okay, okay. So get one here, one here, and one here. There we go. Now connect this thing nicely. It's gonna be a bit of a problem to make like uh, like walkthroughs over this thing, like actually like platforms to walk over, because this thing this thing is already clumped together. But I don't think anybody's gonna like walk over here. I guess I hope maybe. I don't know. We're gonna see. Okay, now this thing. You need to make like a, a 90 degree turn and then you're gonna go richly next to this thing. Just be sure that this is aligned nicely. There we go. Ah, okay. I cannot place that thing because it's too close to a constructor. Okay, so demolish this thing temporarily. And we have to make... Okay, destroy this thing as well. There we go. Okay, grab that thing. And I need to make the turn more or less over here, right? So, grab this thing here, you go here, you go here, and then make like a nice turn. Okay, continue from here. Ah, beautiful. Ha ha ha! Victory! Brain over matter, ladies and gentlemen. 
brain over matter. Okay, so this part of the factory is ready. Uh, I've made the both of us over here for the screws, so hopefully that thing's gonna be enough. So, this is gonna be... Hmm, well, it's almost a night. Oh, come on, game! Ah... Uh, it almost aligned itself. <laughs> Emphasize on almost. God damn it. Can I actually like... Hmm, it's not gonna work this way. Ah. Well... Yeah, making the foundations is one thing. Making uh, actual good holes in the wall is another thing. Okay, forget about that idea. That idea is stupid. So, we got those things. I have to probably like extend this thing a little bit. Problem is that I have to probably remove this bush over here that grows me nuts. The healing nuts, which is not exactly not exactly a good idea. Just saying, not exactly the brightest of the ideas. I really hope that the developers will put like a like a like a like a grow bed or something, you know, Subnautica style. So I can just pick up the nuts and put them on a safe spot. So I'm gonna have constantly like healing items. That would be actually like a good thing to do. So we got those things. Uh, let me see. So if I understand my calculations correctly, we should now build assemblers. Yeah, and I'm gonna need to have three assemblers per floor. So I have to divide this thing a little bit. And now I have to also grab the items from those storages and connect them and connect everything together. Ha! How the hell am I supposed to do that? Now, with all honestly, this, all of this, that was the easiest part. Now comes the hard part because now we have to connect this thing to the assemblers. Uh, and as you know, the assemblers are the devices that pick up two items and they create one item, right? So, for example, we have to here make reinforced iron plates because later on this thing is required to make the modular frame. So, yeah. Uh, how exactly I'm gonna do that thing? Also, I don't have a place to make routers or rotos or whatever you're gonna pronounce this thing. So, I'm guessing the next factory is actually gonna supposed to focus on this thing. Uh, hard to say exactly. But yeah, so first things first, uh, according to my calculations, one assembler would require 1.3 of a constructor output. So to put it like in a simple language, one constructor over here is making screws, okay? So that means to maintain the production of the reinforced plates, I need to have one constructor and one, f uh, actually, one constructor and uh, yeah, one third of another constructor. So I have four on this floor and four on the other floor. So that means that one, two, three, those things will get connected directly to assemblers, while the fourth one will have to get splitters, and those things will have to split in order to get connected and maintain the. Uh, the flow of resources. How the heck am I supposed to do that? Okay, first things first. Uh, first we have to connect actually this thing. Because this thing is where the iron place would be stored, right? Those things are not... Oh yeah, because you're not working because you're not connected to the, connected to the power grid. So that's obvious. Okay, so... Uh, okay, I need to have four belts here, right? So I can actually put two next to each other. And yeah, that actually should go quite well without any problem. So if I'm gonna put one over here, Richie, right next to the wall. And another one over here. Okay, that should work. So then I grab another... Wait, hold on a second. If I'm gonna do something like, say, this and this. Okay, just before this one. So you grab this one. You put it over here. You then make a 90 degree turn. As such, and you put it over here. Okay, do, then you do the same thing over here. 90 degrees. Okay, so we have those two. Alright, from the final ones. Actually, it kind of looks... Okay, let me let me fix this thing. Let's make this thing aligned so we're going to be on the same level. So, destroy this one as well. Thank you, thank you. Okay, grab this one and connect. Ah, oh, beautiful. Exactly the thing I wanted to achieve here. So, we got that thing, okay? So that means now this one has to make like a fully 90 degree as well. So over here, and then you make a turn here, as such. Okay, then you go, 
to this one over here. Actually, hold on a minute. Uh, okay, I have, think I have to put this thing a little bit further away. So put you here and put you here. Okay, dismantle this thing. As such. Alright. So make a turn. Here. You connect with this one. Okay, you go up. Beautiful. And you go up. Beautiful. Okay. And now those two will go up here. Like this. As such. Okay. And then those two will connect together. And they're gonna go together to that part of the factory. So now we have to figure out how we're gonna use the splitters. Uh, the splitters and the mergers. Ah, shit. Okay, this could become a little bit problematic. How exactly I'm gonna do this shit? Ha! A really cool feature about the splitters and the mergers is that you can richly put this thing next to an output of a, let's say, a storage or a constructor or assembler or whatever. So this is actually really helpful. Okay, so the mergers are ready, right? Three mergers are over here. And then I need to have three different splitters as well. Ooh. Okay, that could become a little bit problematic. Or... Hmm. If I, could, uh, if I could actually go with this one a little bit around and end up up here, then I could possibly make a splitter and then connect to each of the left side. A bit, right? So, okay, let me see. Can I make like a splitter of, uh, on the on the storage thingy? Okay, can I get up? Uh, I want to get up. Okay. Can I make a splitter up here? Hmm. Don't think so. Can I rise you? Hmm. I can make a splitter rich in that thing, so that's interesting. But that's not the thing I want to achieve over here. I need to have a splitter somewhere over Wait, can I make a conveyor belt over this? Huh. Because I need to go around, right? So if I'm gonna make a turn, 90 degrees. Okay, then make another 90 degrees. Okay, maybe not like this. Uh, hold on a second. If I'm gonna do something like this, 90 degrees. Okay, now go up. Okay, maybe not like here, but... Let's say I want to go up here, right? So that means... Over this. And let's make something like this. Hmm. Okay, the idea is here, just the execution is terrible. Change of plans. I wanted to make the splitter over there and then make three mergers over here, but that would simply won't work. So the merger is gonna be rich in the middle. Uh, okay, this thing goes here, this thing goes here. Okay, now you continue from here to, let's say, here. Then you continue you from here to, let's say, the same level. So you're gonna get aligned for this in construction. And now this thing needs to have a merger Rishi over here. Okay, good thing that the game actually have those green lines. <laughs> so you know is the output or input aligned with the thing you're about to build. Thank God for that, honestly. Okay. So I need to make like a... I need to go above this thing, right? So... Uh, okay, maybe not with this. Let's go maybe with just this. This should be more than enough. So, one up. Hmm. Is that a bit too high? Wait, is this... Yeah, this is higher than this thing. What the hell? Okay. Let's try with this. Okay, thank you for the line. Thank you for the guiding lines game. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, make a nice turn. Uh, okay, you go here. And then you need to make a turn. 80 degrees. Okay, I bent it a bit too slow. So, one more time. 90 degrees turn. Uh, it's not exactly 90 degrees, just saying. There you go. This is now connected. Okay. So, we have the output of screws. Wait, what the hell? This thing goes here. Oh, for a second I thought this actually like set up wrong. So, we have now output of screws 1.3, okay? So, 1, 1, 1, and this one is 0 0.3, right? 
So it goes, one goes over here, one goes over here, and one goes over there. So that's free. 0 0.3, whatever, you get the idea. Uh, okay, so that's the first part. Now we have to do exactly the same thing with iron. So just to make this thing, I guess, more comfortable. Uh, hold on a second, how am I gonna do this thing? Uh, because now... Okay, I have to make like a similar bridge over here, right? For the iron plates. So let's make something like this. Okay, can I actually make like a 90 degree turn very soon? Ooh, I am afraid I won't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. Now, because of that, the same concept goes back to the iron plates. So, uh, I got the assemblers over here. Okay, the screws will get split over here. And since those things have to go all the way from there to here, I think I'm gonna do the splitting and merging here on this line over here. So we're actually gonna have efficiency when it comes to, to space. So, you know what we could try to do? I think... Uh, I think either the first one or the last one is gonna be responsible for that. And what I mean by that is that... We could try to make a um, splitter here. No, wait, I have to split everything at the same time to maintain the flow. Uh, okay, this is gonna be more difficult than I thought. Actually, no, wait, hold on a second. If I'm gonna... If I'm gonna make the splitter on the very first... No, the first one won't work. The second one... If I would, if I would try to rep repeat the same thing I did over there, so... That's the... First one and the second one. The third one is here. So if I'm gonna make a splitter here. If I'm gonna make a splitter here. No, the splitter has to go three ways. At the same time. Three ways at the same time. Huh. Okay, this is a bit more complicated than I thought. Three times are the same. Where I should try to make the splitter? If I'm gonna make a splitter over there, and then a merger over here, okay, so that's gonna be one. No, that won't work. Wait, I could try to make a splitter here, send one there, and then go up, then this one will go to this one, and then this one will go to this one. Okay, I got it. Easy. No problemo. <laughs> I, I like when actually solving puzzles comes to play in this game, like honestly, creative puzzle solving. I just forgot what I wanted to do. Shit! And how the hell am I supposed to connect this thing? Oh, come on, game. Stop fooling around. Get into building. Okay, splitter goes here. Right? Right, okay. So, you make a merger here. This is gonna be the first one. So, everything goes in. Out goes one. Okay, so since this merger over here is connected directly to the storage one, they're gonna merge together here. Okay, so this one is gonna make a 90 degree angle turn and you're gonna continue here. Now, we need to be sure that you're gonna go up. So I have to make this thing here. Okay, one is more than enough. So you're gonna go up. Like this, okay. So that one's going up. Now, I have to connect the remaining ones. All right, so that should be easy as well. So destroy all of this thing because they're standing on my way. This one as well. And this one as well. Okay. So, another merger needs to go here. So, let me see. Okay, wait. Hold on a second. Uh, here? Yeah, I think so. Wait, is this okay? Yeah, it should be okay. So, the merger goes over here. And you go out that way. Not like that, okay? I've actually made a goof. Uh, this merger needs to go have an output to the right side. Like such. Okay. So you're gonna get connected here. This one, this, uh, this storage box will send the resources to this merger and everything will go up. Maybe not like this, okay? Because I don't think this actually fulfills the safety duties. So go here. Now. Uh... I need to have this thing here. Here. There you go. Okay, you you go through. Okay, this is an interesting thing because if you're gonna try to make a conveyor belt and put it like on the uh, on the break between those two foundations, then you cannot make like the support for the belt. But 
if you're gonna make the support first, I said if you're gonna make the support first, and then connect it, everything works all of a sudden. Why? Don't question it, it just works. Okay, so that thing goes there, and then I need to have another merger richly over here. That needs to get connected to that remaining one over there. Like such. Okay, so you go here. There you go. That's my third one. Alright. So, and I think the belt can actually go over this. Okay, no, you can't. But, so that means you have to... You need to get one more level up. Okay, so destroy this one. Do this. Do this. Do this. Okay. Right. This actually goes well. And connect this thing here. There you go. So now I have to just make this thing nice. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's try to do something like this. So make a belt. I mean the support over here. Then make support over here. Okay, that thing has to go here. Beautiful. That thing has to go here. As such. Okay, and this thing can go through. Okay. Now. Uh, hmm. I don't think I can. Can I make like three belts next to each other? That would be cool. I kind of like want to try this thing, but I don't think this is possible if you think about that. No, just make like one goes up. I just have to like lower you over here, I guess. Yeah, so something like this. So you go down a level. You go down. Okay, hold on a second. You continue. And you go, you go down back to this level. Beautiful. Okay, now just make the support like once again, let's say here. Okay, so this one goes here. This one goes here. <laughs> this is fun! Uh, like, I'm honestly enjoying this thing more than I should. Beautiful. Now this thing goes here. Goes across. Like this. Uh... One second, because you need to end up over here, right? Okay, that one is connected, so this one has to go... Uh... Okay, this one actually has to turn early. So... Hold on a minute, I kinda need to have... Okay, I need to have a break somewhere over here. Uh, if I'm gonna try to make this thing here... Yeah, that should be... Ah, shit, they're out of... <laughs> god damn it, they're out of resources. Oh my god. Okay, I've turned off this factory. Uh, the old one, like the supplied one. So hopefully the new one will be able to supply me with resources very soon because... I'm kinda slowly and steadily getting low on roads. Oh, shit. Did I just run out of roots? Uh, excuse me, where did I put iron rods? Hold on a minute. Ah, oh, there you are, okay, thank god. Yeah, it actually takes a bunch of resources to make this factory, okay? <laughs> Just keep that thing in mind, if you're gonna be doing this thing on your own. In the future, maybe, which I highly recommend that you do. Uh, yeah, you need to have like a, like, a, like a backup of supplies. So having like a temporary camp that's... Will basically just make you resources? Yeah. Yeah! Please do, please, please do yourself a favor and actually construct something like that. Before you try to attempt to construct this monstrosity. Okay. So, you go here. You go here. Okay, that's that's actually nice. And now, I have to make you go down a bit. Okay, hold on. Destroy this thing for now. Just temporary. Actually, I can destroy this thing. Yeah, that actually should be okay, okay. And if I'm gonna now make... Uh, hold on a minute. If I'm gonna do this thing here, and then connect... Okay, you won't be 90 degrees, I guess. Or maybe you will, which is very nice. Okay, now we have to get yourself this thing here. One should be enough. Ah, come on, why? It worked on the, worked on the first one, so why are you not working on this one? Oh, okay, now I see one. Because I moved you to the side a little bit too much. So once again, this thing goes here, you go down, okay, 
Alright, so this is exactly the same thing over there. Right, so now I have to reconnect that thing. Uh, okay, this is gonna be more tricky than I thought. Hold on a minute, can I make this thing here? Okay, I don't think I can construct this thing here, yeah, because this this thing won't give me anything. Ha. Huh. But I could try to do something like this. And then order you to go here. Ah, oh, you're gonna block the other resources in flow. Okay, temporarily build this thing here. So that I'm gonna cheat the game a little tiny bit. Kinda hope that they won't fix this thing in the future. Because it's kinda like important for this thing to work. There we go. And now destroy this thing. Okay, it should work. I mean, I know this is not exactly working with the with gravity, but l let's assume for a second that this uh, thing is working as intended, okay? So that one goes, the top one goes to the far side, then this one goes to assembly that will be over here, and then the one that starts at the floor, you will come up here, please. Okay, I cannot. Ah! Okay, make this support here. Connect you here, not like around the corner. Why the hell you do this game? There you go. Okay. So this is this. You go out and you have to go more or less over here. Okay, now I have to turn you a few times around. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, one more time. Connect you. Come on. Come work with me. Oh. I did it. Fucking hell, I'm good at this game. Okay, ladies so and gentlemen, it's time to do some testing, you know. I've uh, activated the, the drills to mine out some iron on both sides. So that one is actually like much to mine something. Time to stop those. I have to connect those, uh, control those things with cables, you know. I really wish that the developers would add like an actual power switch. To this entire thing, that'll be like probably more fancy. Okay, so we are making iron over here. Look at this thing. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> hey, why the hell those things are not working? Uh, hello. Hey. Okay, this is a difficulty. What the shit? Why not working? Huh? Oh, because you still didn't receive the iron. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. So the iron's coming here as well. For now, it's just testing, okay? Optimization will be like later on. So, iron comes over here. <laughs> Hell yeah! Look at this thing! The other, the other part of the uh, foundry should start work as well very soon. Richly in this matter of seconds. Ah, there you go. Beautiful, like an actual factory. Holy shit. This is so pretty. And this is how the game got its name. Satisfactory. Haha. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so the iron goes over here. Okay, it goes to those constructors over here. Uh, and you are making plates. Okay, so start making plates for me. There you go. Those things are now making plates. Very nice. Okay, and as here the other side is already working. Ah, you're already making screws, so that's very nice. And those screws will now go here. And why are you not going out? Oh, come on! Oh no, looks like apparently this thing won't work this way. Fudge. Mistake have been made. Oh well. Wait, hold on a second. This one is working. Oh, I've. Uh. Is it because I made the size wrong? I did screw up something here, didn't I? Okay, well, the plates are coming, so that's nice. I see plates? Ah! Ah! I don't see plates. What the shit? Probably because the plates got stuck here as well. Ah, shit. Okay, apparently not everything is lost. I've managed to get this one working. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, not this thing. Okay, grab those things temporarily. Apparently, 
You can make this thing work. What the hell? Invalid shape. Are you serious? You, you can't be serious right now. There you go. Okay. So apparently you can have something like this. The issue is that... Uh, the issue is that you need to stand on the splitter or merger over here and make a belt. And it should actually like work. Conveyor belt is too short. Come on, it worked over there. What the hell? Okay, so I had to do a little bit of fixing. Yeah, apparently you need to leave a little bit more of space between the splitter or merger and let's say the storage or the constructor. I mean, the game allowed me to build that thing, but it didn't say that it actually is gonna work. So, fair deal, right? But anyway, I've managed to fix it. So, we got plates over there. We got plates over there. And we got plates over here. So, all of this thing goes together all the way across this thing. Look at this thing. <laughs> Next episode is gonna be us manufacturing a car. <laughs> I can already smell the diesel. So, this thing goes around over here. Uh, as you can see, the screws are already set up and waiting so i just replicated the same layout i just had to move the things a little bit around so we got place over here we should get place over here which i can't going over there and the final one uh oh i see the place over there in the distance let me just get a bit of you uh. there they are hi platies how are you <laughs> everything is working as intended your T falls. So now the only thing remaining to do is to connect this thing to a power source. Okay, hold on a second. I didn't connect you. Okay, set up this thing to work this. This thing does this. And this thing does this. Worst part scenario is that I have to rebuild this thing on the top layer as well now. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. What I can say. Okay, connect this thing to this. Connect this thing to this. Connect this thing to this. Okay, and now connect this thing to the rest of the factory. Here goes the resources. You can begin to work. In a minute now. Why not working? Ah, because you're waiting for the screws. Of course! Not to self later on, if possible, put the, uh, the stronger conveyor belts. Oh! <laughs> it's working! It's working! Beauty fall. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm seriously running out of my record time. I've run it out of it like an hour ago because I had to fix everything, but the factory is now ready. So we got the second stage done. Uh, so that means I have to. Well, I'm gonna uh, build the second floor like off screen, like after a short break. So I'm just not gonna record that thing because it's gonna be literally the same thing I did over here. So splitters, mergers, conveyor belts, yada yada yada, assemblers over here. Then we have to make like the roof. And after that, we have to pull the conveyor belt of that thing, the one that I have left at the very beginning, if you remember correctly from the mine, that thing. You have to pull it all the way across, made some smelters, some iron rod production. I think I'm gonna actually fit this thing over here because there's like a lot of space. So we should be able to squeeze this thing here. And after that, ladies and gentlemen, the final part of the factory and the final product of this. And it's gonna be beautiful. So after that, we have to like probably change the location and build ourselves a new factory. But all of that thing, is gonna be the thing that's gonna be happening in the future episodes because for now I'm gonna leave this thing as of here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the like episode. Please subscribe a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.